After being serenaded by the local band Pierside in Limon, Costa Rica, Karen and I were off to our excursion at a nearby sloth sanctuary. Truth be told, I wasn't expecting a lot from this excursion, but it turned out to be one of the best vacation excursions I have ever been on. After we arrived, we started off first with a visit to several fully grown sloths. The harpy eagle is the number one predator of the sloth, you guys, and now you know. But remember, we have other great animals. If they have an opportunity, they will take it, right? Well, as you can tell, we made it to the Sloth Sanctuary, okay? And we just got done doing a tour. There's actually two different tours. There's one general tour, and then there's one behind-the-scenes tour. Obviously, the behind-the-scenes tour is going to cost you more money, but that's what Karen and I signed up for. So they're going to take us into kind of like a, a sloth infirmary, like a sloth hospital is a sloth neonatal care for little baby sloths things like that i don't think we're going to get a chance to touch or hold any of the sloths i think you have to have special training or saying for that but we got some pretty good video of what we've seen already and there is a mammoth statue of a sloth here this would actually be incorrect because there are four fingers they don't call them toes they call them fingers apparently all sloths have three toes but their finger number is different it's either two or three this one's got four so it's actually not correct so i think at one point we're going to go into the sloth um, hospital or infirmary and then i think later on we're going to move over to a canoe when we put them in the bucket that, you know they could be he could be over there he'd be over there one day he was put here and uh karen was like where'd he go and then we noticed when my mother went to grab the bag didn't check inside the bag because he was smaller obviously much much <laughs> smaller took him out got into the car drove off and then when they went to rescue the baby we already have it what what oh my god then that was him and so <laughs> imagine that so he does that daily this is just his favorite place to be Contacts you guys when there's injured. Um, locals, um, sometimes we'll have. So in the States, we have the SPCA. Here in Costa Rica, we have something kind of similar. I mean, it's called Minayat. They're pretty much, you know, an entity that looks out for animals. And they contact us, we go and rescue them. Or they'll pick them up and bring it to us, depending on, you know, who has transportation available at the moment. What else? It appears as though they mistake the others as mothers. I don't care how much I pay for this, and I don't even remember how much it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no. No, this is really worth it. This is awesome. So adorable. white blood cell count is low, it means that it might uh, be suffering from an immunodeficiency disorder and we're able to then properly take care of the salon. Or this machine over here, if this is the case, the salon's sick, but this machine can't really tell us much because it has nothing to do with the immune system, it's probably uh, something toxic in the environment that it didn't need. It could be toxic leaves or it could be pesticide use, you know, because there's banana plantations, there's pap uh, papaya, pineapple. And here, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Costa Rica is one of the most, um, as far as pesticides are uh, considered, I mean, there's really, Costa Rica is really bad with that. The only way to best describe this is this is the Jungle Cruise at Disneyland on steroids. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Is there any possible chance of us falling off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Captain, you're home! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this way. Whoa. Okay. He told me to move. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hold my back. Crikey. <laughs> Rolling like, down in <laughs> into the crocodilian's lair. <laughs> oh no, it's a piece of <laughs> She's getting us all excited. She thought it was a crocodile. Please, please a caiman. Do please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it all the time. It looks great for the video. Godzilla's cousin. Look at his tooth sticking out. He kind of reminds me of that crocodile from Peter Pan. He say sissy in Spanish. Well, it's not a question. He say sissy in Spanish. Oh, sissy. Do you do you do you come home with me tonight? I would I would like to. For the next twenty five years, thirty years. I would like to. Till you get old. And then I have to take care of you. I'm, I'm already old. That. I'm already old, and you already take care of me. <laughs> that would be a caiman. They're, they're not big. What did I eat? People. Oh, look at this face. Yeah, that's a caiman. About maybe what, 10 feet away? Mm -hmm. That's a Cayman. Again, you come from the land that you beat <laughs> Medes people. <laughs> or a goanna. Sam, your iguanas get that big. Holy smokes. Okay, so we finished up our tour at the Sloth Sanctuary, and then we also did the canoe, kind of quasi riverboat tour at the, at the Sloth Sanctuary. And without a doubt, Karen and I are probably going to talk about this more later on. But without a doubt, that was probably the best um, excursion we've had so far on this trip. It was really, really amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. We'll go into some more detail about it later. But before we do, we're heading off now into the um, one of the city portion of uh, Limon, and uh, this is the tourist area without a doubt. And as you can tell. There's lots of police here. In fact, there's Policia Tourist Touristica. And there's Policia here. So lots of security. And uh, we should feel relatively safe. We'll give you our, our impressions here in a little bit, but we're off into the city. Thank <laughs> you. 